have not done this training in a long time, but I was reminded just how big of a teacher the orchid is. And I'm gonna just bring my baby in here. So as you can see, this orchid is right now in its fine, it just lost its final thing. And the goal with the orchid is that you essentially water this baby once a week, about an ice cube amount of water once a week, until it blooms again. And what does that mean? It means that <laughs> you water without expectation. You water with commitment. You water in total surrender of what the outcome is going to look like. You water because you know unequivocally without a shadow of a doubt that that baby's going to bloom again. Now in business, what happens? We become, I, I did this, this um, class the other day. We become clock watchers. We stare at our business results. We stare at our numbers. We stare at who's coming in the door and who's not coming in the door. We get fucked up and freaked out and scared that we're not doing enough, that, that there's not enough money coming in, that there's not enough response to the thing that we've created. And we move into doubt. We move into fear. We move into comparison of who's making it and who's not making it. And we begin to water with condition. We begin to business with condition. And this is where I tell you to go buy an orchid, okay? Buy an orchid. You have to water without condition your business, okay? This baby will bloom again as your business will continue to bloom, but business is with commitment. You water every single day or every single week with commitment. You have to show up unconditionally. And let me express it in a different way as well, because I think that this is another sort of important distinction between your business and the expectations that you have for it and getting it done. And that is, if you are in a business right now, if you are in a business right now that you're not jazzed about, that you are so over, quit. Just simply quit, stop doing it, try something else, get a job, do something in between while you're figuring things out. Because the bottom line is, is that you are going to have to show up every single day without expectation. You are going to have to surrender. It, it has to be, your business has to be the thing that gets you out of bed every day. It has to be obsession. It has to be the thing that won't get off your brain. You are going to have to water it regardless of outcome. And the universe doesn't tell you when it's going to bloom. The universe doesn't tell you when it's going to do the thing. The universe is never going to tip you off and say, you have got it, you are on the right thing. Your commitment, your obsession, your wake up every day and do this fucking thing is the water to the orchid. So what does that mean to you? How do you stay in flow with a thing that may not be producing at the level that you need it to produce? How do you stay in check with yourself when you are creating something that is not paying off yet? Because that's the real crux, isn't it? The real crux in business is we have to make a certain amount of money. But what happens is when we are staring at the empty bucket, when we are staring at the lack of what we are creating, when we are staring at the stick, when we are so busy staring at the stick and wondering when it's going to bloom and putting all these expectations like I'm watering you and I'm asking you to do a thing, it actually makes it not work. So if any of you have had the opportunity to play with the orchid, and again, I'm asking you to go buy one today, that orchid is gonna teach you more about yourself and business than anything else. As you are watering it, you cannot overwater it. It'll die. You cannot, you cannot make it bloom faster. 
You cannot stare at it with expectation and wish it to go faster than it's going to go. You have to stay in consistent commitment of the dream, of the goal. And when you stare at it with lack, when you stare at the stick and you say to the stick, you're not doing anything and you're pointless to me, as in the orchid, then you have decided it's not of value anymore. So same thing in your business. If it is not producing money, if it is not showing up in the way that you need it to show up and you are staring at the empty bucket and you are in total lack and fear and doubt and shame and oh my God, it's not working. And then you pour in that kind of energy and you throw in those kinds of expectations to your business and the people maybe who are working for you or the people that are around you, that's the kind of vibration you're creating in your business is this lack mentality. People feel that exchange. Now, if you're in the service industry and you are asking for, let's say $150 for your hour of time, I'm just using this as an example. If you are in the, I need your money and you need to pay me, I am broke as a joke and I need this $150 and I just offered you a service and I need it so badly. What vibration do you think you're offering your client? How do you think that feels, that exchange? Wherein if you grow into the abundance of knowing unequivocally, without a shadow of a doubt, that every day that you water, this stick, every week that you water the stick in your business, it's every day. But what if you approach it like the orchid, wherein you know unequivocally, without a shadow of a doubt, that this baby right here, if you tend to it, if you nurture it, if you love it, if you wake up every day and just take care of your baby, the business, it's gonna grow. It's going to make you money. It's going to do the thing that you need it to do. But what do you need? What, what do you need to keep yourself in the mindset, in the belief, in the trust that your business is gonna grow even on those weak moments, even on those days where you feel the most insecure? Well, let me tell you one thing. We're not meant to business alone, first and foremost. The orchid is not growing on its own. It has a business partner. It has somebody who believes in it every fucking day watering it. And same thing goes for you guys. If you are businessing alone right now and you are trudging up this thing and you are pushing it and you are feeling the lack and you are feeling the insecurity and you are feeling the comparison and you are in the excuse of doubt, and it is time to ask for help, guys. It's time to get somebody to hold your hand while you climb this mountain so that you can climb in trust, so that you can have a light in the tunnel with you. There's no point in doing this in the dark. The point is, is to move yourself into manifestation. The point is to move yourself into trust. The point is, is to feel in flow with a thing that you are creating to brighten your intuition so that you can find the flashlight yourself later, so that you can build your own toolkit of trust so that when you are building and growing your business, you are not scraping at lack, so that you are not scraping at not enough, so that you are not concerned that you are some sort of imposter to the dream that you have, but rather that you have somebody telling you, I'm gonna water you while you water your business. I'm gonna make sure that you are tended to. I'm gonna make sure that you are nurtured while you are nurturing your business. And if you feel like you are done doing all the heavy lifting and you are ready to step into the true greatness of your business and that you are ready to feel the faith, the light and the trust in your business, drop an emoji below. Let's get on a breakthrough call. Let's see if you are ready to be nurtured. Let's see if you are ready to become your greatest guru in chief. Let's see if you are ready to ignite that intuition that already exists in you and have you making more income and more impact in your business so that you can start feeling and securely experiencing what freedom really feels like. 
so that you can see that trust is actually freedom. Trust in your business, trust in what you have to offer, trust in your price tags, trust in the baby steps that you are offering every day. Trust that as you water your business every day, it will grow. And allow somebody to nurture you while you go through this. So if you wanna know more about what I'm talking about and you are ready to lean back and have somebody take you to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, which is your business, if you want somebody to help you water your orchid, because in my mind, you're the orchid. In my mind, you are worthy of being nurtured. You are worthy of having somebody trust that you are enough. You are worthy of having somebody tell you how incredible you are and the gift that you bring to the world. And to me, that is an invaluable, invaluable gift to have somebody share with you your greatness and mirror back to you what you are valued at. So if you feel ready to be nurtured, ready to be watered, let me know. Let's get on a call today and let's figure out how to grow your orchid, all right? And if you're just tuning in now, please do go back and, and watch this again. I'll be editing this so that you guys can share this out to your friends and posse as well, because I really think this orchid, man, she is a beaut and she is the spirit animal of business. I recommend that you go out and buy yourself an orchid and just begin to witness your business through this beautiful manifestation tool. All right, you guys, peace in, lots of love. Thank you all so much for joining.